Hello so guys, today I'm going to show you what you can do if you cannot install your campaign. So on Black Ops Cold War, I'm going to show you for the PC, PS5, PS4 and Xbox. So first off guys, if you cannot install it, what you want to first off check is your storage. So it's quite important guys, because what happened to me I'm going to explain. So this actually happened on the PS5 for me, but it could also happen on the PS4. So what actually happened is that I had a new update that I needed to download. It was on Warzone, but it doesn't really matter which game it is. It said that the update was about like 10 gigs or 15 gigs between that. But it didn't install. I had free space. I had about 50 gigs of free space. And for some type of reason, it just didn't install. So what I did was I went to storage. I went over to console storage. And on here, I checked out why it wasn't installing. It was kind of weird. So what I've noticed is, guys, that you do need a lot more than just 50 gigs to install just an update. So if you ever have this problem, guys... What I suggest you guys to do is get a lot more space. So what I recommend is, for example, if there is like updates that is about 10 gigs, make sure that you have at least about 100 gigs of free space left. Like, make sure of that, guys. It actually happened to me and I fixed it by just deleting some two applications and it just works for me just by getting a bit more space. It's kind of weird that you need about 100 gigs of space just to download an update, but that's how it works on the PS5, also the PS4. So if you ever encountered that problem, guys, if the update is like about five gigs, it doesn't matter. Make sure that you have a lot more than the recommended one. So I recommend about at least about 80 gigs to 100, like I said. So that could be also a fix for you. So another fix would be, I would say, just make sure that you have good internet connection. Just go ahead and test your internet connection on the PlayStation. Like, just go to here, network, and network settings, and just test your internet connection on here. So you can also just do that on the PC, on the Xbox, and make sure that you have about, at least, I would say about 8 gigs not 8 gigs, 8 Mbps of download speed and about 1 Mbps of upload speed. So that will be pretty much enough if you have that. So if you encounter any problems, you can also just use that and test your internet connection. So yeah, that's basically the video guys. If you want to fix your internet connection, I will suggest you just to get an Ethernet cable. If you don't have that, use some DNS codes. And thanks for watching, please like, subscribe and take care.